look closely. Before you lies a spiral galaxy, a colossal wheel of light, spinning quietly in the dark for hundreds of millions of years. Billions of suns orbit its glowing core, each one a tiny spark in a cosmic ballet that's been going on since before Earth existed. And yet, cutting through that perfection, there's something wrong. A single, glowing line runs across the disk, perfectly straight, perfectly sharp. It's not a beam, not a spiral arm, not an illusion. It looks like a scar carved into the skin of the universe itself. Astronomers stared at the image in disbelief. It wasn't a flare, not a glitch, not a cosmic ray. It was real. A 20,000 light year wound, a trace of something colossal, something invisible that pierced through a galaxy and disappeared, leaving only silence behind. The galaxy has a name, NGC 3627, part of the Leo triplet, about 30 million light years from Earth. If the Milky Way is a graceful spiral, NGC 3627 is the same, only younger, wilder, like a younger sibling who never learned to sit still. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gold mirrors toward it, scientists expected the usual, star nurseries, dusty arms, gas clouds. Instead, they found this narrow, razor-straight mark, visible only in the infrared, invisible to the human eye. It glowed faintly, stretching across the disk like a scratch on an ancient record still spinning in space. To make sure it wasn't a glitch, they used ALMA, the massive radio telescope in Chile's Atacama Desert, where thin air and silence make the sky itself feel closer. And ALMA saw it too, not in visible light, but in radio waves. Two completely different eyes on the cosmos, and both saw the same thing. Not a mirage, but a real scar etched in gas and dust. A wound big enough to swallow a thousand solar systems. The first explanation was as breathtaking as it was terrifying. Maybe, they said, a runaway black hole tore through the galaxy. Imagine an invisible object millions of times heavier than the sun, flying at 300 kilometers per second. So fast, it could cross the distance from Earth to the moon in just over a second. It plunges through a sea of stars and gas, distorting everything around it, pulling matter into chaos, compressing and heating the gas until it glows. Behind it, a glowing wake a luminous ribbon of ionized hydrogen and carbon dust stretching for 20,000 light years. In that wake, shock waves trigger new stars to form, creation born out of devastation. When I first saw the photo, I laughed. I thought it was a sensor crack, a glitch in the data. But the more I looked, the more it felt like the galaxy itself had been torn open, a scar across a living being, and that realization, it's equal parts wonder and fear. But there's a mystery. If a black hole really made it, it should still be there, leaving gravitational ripples, x-rays, or at least a faint distortion. Yet, nothing. No heat, no motion, no shadow. As if the monster vanished into its own silence. Another theory emerged, equally haunting. What if the culprit wasn't a black hole, but a ghost galaxy? The dying core of a smaller companion devoured by NGC 3627 long ago. Imagine a smaller galaxy colliding with a larger one, its stars stripped away, leaving only a dense nucleus. That compact remnant cuts through the disk, dragging gas, stirring dust, and leaving behind a perfect, glowing corridor through the chaos. Astronomers have seen signs like this before, in Andromeda, in Centaurus A, but never this precise. 
This one is straight as a blade. No curves, no ripples, no turbulence. Too perfect, almost intentional. It's hard not to think of it as handwriting. The universe drawing a single deliberate line across the face of eternity. Not a random event, but a cosmic signature. And here's the most poetic part. They found it by accident. The research team wasn't hunting for cosmic scars. They were simply mapping hydrogen density, turning massive data sets into color-coded maps of gas and dust. One graduate student, the kind who double-checks everything, noticed a faint linear feature in the data. He assumed it was noise, but it persisted in every wavelength, every exposure, every observation. He zoomed in again, adjusted filters, and slowly the scar revealed itself, thread-like, glowing, undeniable. He called his supervisor, I think there's a line cutting through the galaxy. Silence on the other end, then only one word, show me. Sometimes the universe doesn't shout. It whispers in data, in noise, in the patience of one curious mind. All you have to do is listen. To understand how vast the scar really is, try to imagine it here, inside our Milky Way. If something like that happened to us, the line would stretch from the sun, through the dense, blazing center of our galaxy, and all the way to the opposite rim. That's 20,000 light years. In human terms, two billion Earth-Moon distances. And yet, the event that created it might have lasted only a few minutes in cosmic time. A blink, a breath, a moment of violence echoing for millions of years across space. A minute of collision, a million years of consequences. What if collisions like this aren't cosmic tragedies, but part of how galaxies grow, how the universe renews itself? These impacts churn gas, spark new stars, reshape spiral arms into beauty. They're not accidents, they're evolution written in light. A scar then isn't a wound, it's a seam, a stitch where the universe heals itself mending its torn fabric so it can continue expanding, creating, transforming. If we could zoom out far enough, we might see countless such lines across the cosmos, each one a story of destruction, rebirth, and memory. We're taught to see beauty in perfection, in symmetry, in balance, in order. But maybe real beauty lives in the things that survived, in what's been broken, and then healed. Galaxies fall, collide, recover. They twist, tear, rebuild. Every one of them carries its history like a scar, a glowing memory of pain that became creation. When I look at that image, I can't help but thinking, maybe that's what we are too. Fragments stitched together by time. Stories that learned how to keep shining through the dark. If the universe remembers its own scars, maybe ours, human, fragile, invisible, matter just as much. Subscribe, because next time we'll see what happens when the universe doesn't just heal, it starts to create again.